fade and Can you uh, take a guess who started Wood Badge? Maybe. How, how awesome. Yeah. So uh, he uh, he started scouting in Britain in uh, I believe 1908, um, and he'd been doing that for a number of years. And in 1919, he decided that he needed a more in-depth training for scoutmasters. So he developed the Wood Badge program. Uh, it was originally held in Gilwell Park, which if you look back here, there's a map of the original Gilwell Park. Um, you can still go there, it's still a place. Uh, if you put on your scout uniform and knock on the gate, they'll give you a tour. So, Where is that? Uh, it's in England. So, <laughs> if you ever a that, uh, <laughs> um, So, there's a lot of uh, traditions in Wood Badge, and Gilwell is one of them. So, anywhere that Wood Badge is held is called Gilwell Park. So, if you guys came in on the road, on the left it says Zastro Training Camp, and on the right it says Gilwell Park. And over the door on the way in, it says Gilwell Hall. Um, and every troop, every wood badge troop is Troop 1 from Gilwell. So that's just a, like paying homage to the original place. Um, so wood badge as a, as a program is, uh, they'll, they'll take a bunch of scout masters and they put them in patrols and make them act like a troop. Um, they'll do activities, um, they do different trainings, and they'll have to do chores and everything that a, a troop would have to handle on the hand um, mm -hmm. So all these shovels you see back here, those are uh, actually carried by the service patrols, what it's called, uh, which is uh, one patrol a day takes a turn doing all the chores, and they are the service patrol. Carry a shovel for whatever they want on it. So that's what these shovels all are. Um, what's, what's the early shovel we have? Probably. So this lodge was built in 1948. We don't have anything going back quite that far except for the building itself. Um, the first wood badge course was held in here in 1949. It was the, the third official. American Wood Badge Corps, the first being held at Camp Schiff in New Jersey. Um, if you look outside, that monument out there actually came from Camp Schiff in New Jersey. It was donated by the Scouts of Britain for the 40th anniversary of the BSA to Camp Schiff. And when Camp Schiff closed down, they brought it out here. The second was held at Cimarron Cito, which is right here. Yep. Um, <laughs> And we're down in that corner of the map over there. Um, and then the third was held right here in this building. Uh, so this building held 58 national wood badge courses between 1949 and 2002. Um, and they also had a program called Walking Wood Badge they ran out of here, which was wood badge combined with the Philmont Trek, which they don't do anymore because it's pretty brutal. So. <laughs> um, what we have in here is mostly artifacts from those courses, the shovels included. Um, there's a, you'll see a piece of leather up on the walls. Uh, those are mostly patrol flags. Uh, you can feel free to look around at those, ask us any questions if you have any. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of them have been eaten by rodents over the years. We tried to make sure all of them are up on the walls and uh, hopefully out. Yeah, look around if you have any questions. Um, everything in here is wood badge except for these two tables. Uh, this one is mostly old scout books, and this one is STEM. So we have a collection of field guides. Nice. An engine model. Uh, this goes counterclockwise. Actually, goes this way. Um, you can feel free to take a look at any of these things. Ask cool questions. The axes back there. Um, those were actually in here when they were still running. Uh, so you can go look at that, and it's got a little description next to each axe of how it was used in the logging industry. It's pretty cool to check out. Uh, there's also lots of pictures and other artifacts from all the different wood badge courses in here. So feel free to look around and ask any questions you guys have. Uh, <laughs>